New studies have come out. Magnesium, the cure for depression. Well, not necessarily the cure, but it does have some benefit. So let's jump into it. There's some people who feel sad in a day. And there's some people who feel so sad that they can't control it. And these people are deemed as people who suffer from depression. So, when we have people who have depression, most people go to a doctor. They get some kind of prescription or some kind of inhibitors. But, there's also people that when they receive those drugs, they don't give any benefit to that individual. Which is considered treatment resistant depression. Let's go back to the main part of what may cause depression for some people. And I have to read off my notes because I'm not a book. I can't remember all this shit. So bear with me, people. NMDA receptors are receptors in your brain, okay? They play a role in neuroplasticity. Abnormal NMDA function plays a role in depression. If your NM DA receptor is not functioning properly. What can help it function properly is magnesium because it's an NMDA regulator. So because of this, some studies have even shown that higher magnesium levels or mag intake of magnesium supplements at baseline are associated with better responses to antidepressants. So what they did is took people who suffer from treatment resistant depression and supplemented them with magnesium. And what they found is that supplementing the magnesium with the antidepressant actually made the antidepressant work for that individual. Now there are other things that can play a role. It's not just magnesium that can aid and cause this you know, uh, situation. They found that zinc does the same thing too but it's just a study and something that is developing now. The main thing is a lot of research has found out that low magnesium levels can lead to depression. Let me repeat that. Low magnesium levels can play a role in depression and even a poor diet can do the same. So I'm not just saying that if you have low magnesium in your diet that you're going to suffer from depression, but it could play a role. See, you got to listen to those certain words. If you want to consume more magnesium, if you feel like maybe your diet is lacking magnesium or certain essential minerals or vitamins, then all you have to do is consume more fruits and vegetables as whole as organic as you can. You can even drink uh, mineral waters, for example. Mineral water, I prefer San Pellegrino. It is full of essential minerals that you can basically drink. When your body needs those essential minerals, it will extract them from your body itself. That's how bad we need these minerals. They don't occur within our bodies. So we have to get them from our environment externally. Now before you run to the supplement store or you think that magnesium Low magnesium levels are the cause of your depression. Listen to this. Get your diet in check first. See how that helps you. If, you. if that makes you feel a little bit better, then good. If you're someone who suffers from depression or takes antidepressants, bring it up to your doctor. Don't just watch this video and go out and just, you know, fix yourself by taking a magnesium tablet. No, talk to your doctor first. Mention magnesium, see if they could take a test, and who knows, it might benefit you. So, all in all, that was the little breaking news for magnesium and depression. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. Go to healthalchemisttraining.com. Check out my newsletter. So, that note, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.